good morning students this is deepa associate professor telecommunication engineering department srm institute of science and technology we see unit 5 uh, about radio wave propagation these are the topics covered in unit 5 today class we see about the basics of radio wave propagation and different modes of propagation introduction to radio wave propagation in uh, radio wave uh, communication systems an antenna at the transmitter radiates the electromagnetic waves which travel through the space and reach the receiving antenna at the other end as the electromagnetic waves travel away from the transmitter the strength of the wave keeps on decreasing at this point it is important to understand the composition of the earth atmosphere as it plays a vital role in the propagation of electromagnetic waves what is electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave also called electromagnetic radiation it is oscillation produced due to crossing over of an electric and magnetic field the direction of the propagation of such wave is perpendicular to the direction of the force of either these fields as shown in the above figure like all wave forms these have some properties as well let us have a look at the properties of electromagnetic waves em waves travel at the speed of light these waves do not require any medium for propagation these waves travel in a transverse form these waves are not deflected by electric or magnetic field these waves can be polarized and these waves undergo interference and diffraction wavelength and frequency of the electromagnetic waves they can be related as c is equal to f into lambda where c is the velocity of the electromagnetic wave now let us study some modes of propagation of electromagnetic waves thermosphere mesosphere stratosphere troposphere are different layers these layers are used for propagation of electromagnetic waves and these waves travel basically any in any one of three methods given below ground wave propagation space wave propagation and sky wave propagation <coughs> what is ground wave propagation to radiate signal signals with high efficiency and without loss of energy the antenna should have size comparable to the wavelength of the signal at least approximately lambda by 4 whereas lambda is nothing but c by f at longer wavelengths that is at lower frequencies the antennas have large physical size and they are located on very near to the ground for example in am broadcast system ground based vertical towers are generally used as transmitting antennas for such antennas ground has strong influence on the propagation of the signal this mode of propagation is called surface wave propagation and the wave glitches over the surface of the earth so this was some properties of the ground wave propagation listed here this type of propagation used for low frequency range transmission mostly less than 2 megahertz this propagation employ make use of <coughs> this propagation use of large antennas order of which is equivalent to the wavelength of electromagnetic waves and uses the ground for its propagation the signals over long uh, large distance are not sent using this method and it causes severe attenuation which increases with increased frequency of the waves so the maximum range of coverage depends on the transmitted power and frequency the second propagation is sky wave propagation in 
the frequency range from few megahertz to 30 megahertz long distance communication can be achieved by ionospheric reflection of reflection of radio waves back towards the earth this mode of propagation is called sky wave propagation the sky wave often called the ionospheric wave which is radiated in an upward direction and returned to the earth at some distant location because of refraction from the ionosphere this form of propagation is relatively unaffected by its surface and can propagate over long distance usually the high frequency band is used for sky propagation the so properties of sky wave propagation listed here this type of propagation used for long range uh, <coughs> frequency communication the range of 300 kilohertz to 30 megahertz make use of the ionosphere so called due to the presence of charged ions in the region of about 60 to 300 km from the earth surface these ions provide a reflecting medium to the radio or communication waves within particular frequency range this propagation use of the property so we use this property of the ionosphere for for long distance transmission of the waves without much attenuation and loss of signal strength examples examples given below amateur radio citizen band radio and international broadcast the third propagation is the third mode of propagation is phase wave propagation the space wave follows two distinct paths from the transmitting antenna to the receiving antenna one through air directly to the receiving antenna the one through the air directly to the receiving antenna the other reflected from the ground to the receiving antenna the another uh, one reflected from the ground to the receiving antenna so space wave propagation in the line of sight also called direct wave propagation the primary path of the space wave is directly from the transmitting antenna to the receiving antenna so the receiving antenna must be located within the radio horizon of the transmitting antenna because space waves are refracted slightly even when propagated through the troposphere the radio horizon is actually about 1/3 further than line of sight or natural horizon at frequencies above 40 megahertz communication is essentially limited to line of sight paths at these frequencies the antennas are relatively smaller and can be placed at heights of many wavelengths above the ground because of line of sight the direct waves get blocked at some point by the curvature of the earth as shown in figure if the signal is to be received beyond the horizon then the receiving antenna must to be high enough to intercept the line of sight waves if the transmitting antenna is at height ht then the distance to the horizon dt is given by equation dt whereas r is the radius of the earth dt is also called the radio horizon of the transmitter the maximum line of sight distance dm between the two antennas having height heights ht and hr above above the earth is given by dm in this equation where hr is the height of the receiving antenna <coughs> so r is the radius of the earth approximately 6400 km dt is also called radio origin of the transmitting antenna whereas dm is the the maximum line of sight distance between the two antennas having guys ht and hr so whereas dm is equal to square root of 2 r ht plus root of 2 r hr whereas hr is the height of the receiving antenna space 
satellite communication and very high frequency wave use this propagation method. We must ensure that for a very large distance, the height of the tower used for transmission is high enough to prevent waves from touching the earth curvature. Therefore, the preventing attenuation loss of the signal strength again. Properties of space wave propagation in the study. Space waves are used for line of sight communication as well as satellite communication. This type of propagation and the very high frequency waves are used. So, summary of the, the about topics mentioned radio wave propagation and modes of propagation. Radio wave signals are mainly used for communication purpose. Transmission of broadcast signal to communication with aircrafts, every mode of the communication and transportation is dependent on signal transmitted in radio wave frequency. The main objective of the radio wave propagation is to transmit signal and securely without any error. So, the topics here it, it is concluded that the radio wave propagation is an important branch of communication studies. These are the some references followed for the topics radio wave propagation and modes of propagation. Thank you.